In the middle of the 19th century, Wisconsin produced one-sixth of the nation's wheat. The crop proved popular because it was cheap and easy to grow and helped immigrants find a foothold in the economy, according to the Wisconsin Historical Society. In the 1850s, however, nitrogen depletion from overgrowing wheat gave Wisconsin farmers low yield rates. Meanwhile, states like Minnesota and Iowa were increasing their wheat production, which sent the price of Wisconsin's wheat down. Then, in the 1860s, chinch bugs infested Wisconsin wheat crops, effectively marking the end of Wisconsin as America's breadbasket. To adapt, Wisconsin farmers switched from cash crops to feed crops, which were easier on the soil. This proved so successful that, by 1899, more than 90% of Wisconsin farms raised dairy cows. With the newfound technique of using silos to store crops, Wisconsin was able to grow its dairy herd quickly. One reason why dairy farming grew so rapidly were due to the efforts of William Dempster Horde. A newspaperman after returning from fighting in the Civil War, Horde tirelessly campaigned for 50 years to promote Wisconsin dairy farming. He did this through his creation of the State Dairymen Association, the first of its kind, and his dairy publication, Horde's Dairymen. The other pivotal actor in this transition was the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Having established the first dairy school in the nation, the university worked to advance Wisconsin dairy farming above competing states by improving dairy science. Many university buildings are named after these early dairy innovators. Babcock Hall is named after Stephen Babcock, who invented the first butterfat content test for milk, which farmers used to identify their most productive cows and in turn help these farmers improve their herds and produce better, more consistent dairy, according to Wisconsin 101. Or Steenbach Library, named after UW biochemistry professor Harry Steenbach, who developed a method to increase the vitamin D content in milk, which ultimately led to the end of the crippling childhood bone disease known as rickets, according to the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Additionally, Wisconsin introduced the first rules and regulations for dairy. These innovations and advancements cemented Wisconsin as the leading producer of dairy in the nation by 1915, according to the Wisconsin Historical Society.